In this lesson, we're gonna draw a really awesome version of Iron Man. I hope you're super excited, I know I am. I hope you also have a marker and some paper and you're gonna follow along with me. Now remember to not worry about making your drawing look perfect or exactly like mine. The most important thing is to practice and to have fun. All right, let's get started. We're first gonna start by drawing the shape of Iron Man's helmet. And we're gonna draw two straight lines for the side of his helmet. And we're drawing them towards the top so we have room for his body. Now we're gonna connect these two lines with a curve that goes up and back down. Now we're gonna draw his chin. We're gonna draw a line that comes down, diagonal, comes straight across, and then diagonal back up to the other side. All right, we did it. We got the shape of his helmet. Now we can draw the details inside of his helmet. We're gonna start by drawing his eyes and we're gonna draw two diagonal lines, one that comes down on each side. And this is the side of his eyes. Then we're gonna draw the top of his eyes. So now we're gonna draw a curve that connects. Now we're gonna finish his eyes. We'll start by drawing the inside lines. Let's draw two lines that come down diagonal. And then we'll connect the bottoms across to each side. Now we're gonna draw the inside edge of his eyes. We're gonna draw a line down that matches the outside and then across the bottom. And then we'll do that same line over here on the right side, down and then across the bottom. Now we're gonna draw his cheeks. We're gonna draw a curve that starts right here in the middle and it's gonna curve down inside of his chin. See how we're inside? And we're gonna do that same curve over here on the other side. We wanna start at the same height and curve down. All right, now let's draw his mask. This is the part that comes up where you can see his face. So we're gonna first start by drawing the side of his mask. We're gonna start over here and we're gonna draw a line that comes down and then out. Is that cool? We can draw that same line over here. Down and then right at the end, we bend out. Cool, okay, now we're gonna draw an S curve that comes down halfway. So we're gonna curve one way and then back the other way and stop right there. Now we can do the same curve over here. We're gonna curve one way and then back the other way. Next on his chin, we're gonna draw a diagonal line that connects up from those two little corners down here at the bottom and then we're gonna connect across. Now that's the bottom of his helmet. Now we're gonna finish the bottom of that gold part of his mask. We're gonna draw a diagonal line that matches here. And we can do a diagonal line over here also. Then we're gonna go up, over, and then back down. It's kinda of tricky, huh? All right, now let's draw his mouth. We'll start right here. We're gonna come down and then up. So a little check mark. We'll do the same thing over here. Down and up. Now we can draw his mouth. We're gonna draw a line that goes across and connects those two diagonal lines. But his mouth is a lot thicker than the rest of the line, so let's draw another line below it and then color that in. All right, now let's draw the top of his mask. We're gonna draw two curves that match the top of his head. And I'm gonna draw it a little further in, and then we're gonna draw the same curve over here on this side. Now we're gonna connect these two lines. We're gonna go down diagonal, across, and then back up. Okay, now let's connect in between here with another curve, with two curves, and then color that in, just like we did with the mouth. Now let's draw a few more details. We're gonna draw a thick line here, so we can draw two lines, and then color that in, and two lines over here, and color that in. And then right here on the top of his eyes, let's draw a little circle on each side. All right, now he's got little ear pieces on the side. So we're gonna draw a diagonal line, comes out, down, and then back in. And we could do the same thing on the other side. Diagonal line down, straight line, and then a diagonal line back in. Now his helmet looks really awesome, except he's gonna look even cooler once we finish his body. So let's start right here. And we're gonna draw a curve that comes down, and another curve on the other side, coming down, the other direction. 
Okay, now we're gonna finish the shape of his body. So right here, we're gonna draw an A shape. It's gonna come up and then back down on the other side. And this line comes down further than the outside lines. Then we can draw the bottom of his foot and a diagonal line up to connect. And same thing over here on the other side, diagonal or straight line across and then the diagonal line up to connect. Let's finish his boots. We're gonna go straight across and then a diagonal line down to his heel. And same thing over here. We're gonna go straight across and a diagonal line down. Now on each foot, let's draw that same shape, but smaller. We'll go up, over, and back down. That's for his toes. And then up, over, and back down on the right foot. Next, let's draw the power source in his chest. So we're gonna draw a big circle right below his chin. And then inside of this, we're gonna draw another circle that goes around, but it's smaller. Now we're gonna draw the armor pieces on his chest and on his legs. So right below his power source, we're gonna draw a straight line. And then we're gonna draw a diagonal line on each side that connects to the outside of his body. Now from this straight line, we're gonna draw two more di shorter diagonal lines down. And then we can connect those out to the outside of his body also. Then we're gonna draw another straight line down here, and then we can connect diagonal lines back up. Now this is his stomach armor, so let's draw lines going across and dividing the shape up. So we'll draw one right through the middle, and then one right below that. And then up here on the top part, let's draw a different shape. We'll draw a short diagonal line down, across, and then back up. Now all of these little details make Iron Man's suit look so awesome. I hope you're having a lot of fun following along with me. Remember, if you need extra time, you can pause the video. Don't get frustrated. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. All right, let's keep going. Now we're gonna draw the armor on his legs. We're gonna draw a diagonal line that matches the inside of his leg and then a short line straight across. Then we're gonna draw a cool curve that comes up and connects to this point up here. All right, here we go. We're gonna draw that curve, comes all the way up and connects. Now we're gonna do that same thing over here. Diagonal line that matches the inside of his leg, straight line across, and then we're gonna draw a curve that goes all the way up and connects to this point up here. Now let's draw a couple more lines on his legs. We're gonna draw one right above this and we're gonna draw another one right above that one. And we could draw those two straight lines over here also to match. Now we're gonna draw diagonal lines down from these straight lines. So we'll start on the bottom one, diagonal line down, and a diagonal line also down from the top one. We can do that same thing over here on this side. Then let's draw a diagonal line on the outside of his legs and also on this side too. Okay, we finished his body. Now we need to draw his shoulders and his arms. We're gonna start by drawing a curve that comes out from his helmet. And we can draw that same curve over here on this side too. Now this is for his shoulder armor. We're gonna draw a diagonal line coming back into his body on each side. Then right here in the corner, we're gonna draw a circle and a circle over here. Then above each of these circles, we're gonna draw a curve, another one inside of his armor. I love all of these little details. Now let's draw his arms coming out from his shoulders. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and then a diagonal line that comes into his body. And let's repeat that over here. Curve coming down and we wanna stop about in the same spot as we did on the left side and then come back in. All right, now let's draw his gloves. We're gonna draw a line that comes across his wrist on each side. And then we need to draw his thumbs. So we're gonna draw another curve that matches the outside and a curve that matches the bottom. And let's do that same thing over here. Match the outside and then match the bottom. 
All right, we did it. We finished drawing Iron Man, and that was a lot of lines and a lot of steps. I hope you had a lot of fun drawing and following along with me. Now he's gonna look so much better once we color him. So this part I'm also gonna fast forward, but you can pause it at the end to match the same coloring. I finished coloring Iron Man and he looks so much better with all the color on him. He looks awesome. Now I'm gonna also do one last thing and that's to add shading, but you can leave this step off to keep the lesson a little easier. I finished shading and now he looks a lot more 3D. I hope you're gonna shade your drawings also. I just used my black colored pencil on top of the red and the gold. It's not as difficult as it may look. I just pressed lightly over the color. I started dark at the top and then got lighter towards the bottom. So it created these little shadows on the side of his head, on his cheeks, also under his shoulders and his chest. And then the last part I shaded around his legs. I hope you're super excited about your drawings because I'm sure they turned out super amazing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.